butterfly counting, and bipartite networks, a work of motif counting in large graphs. Bipartite networks are important and have many real-world problems. For example, authors and their corresponding papers can form a bipartite network. Amazon customers make up a large bipartite network, where one partition has customers and the other has items they have purchased. Analysis of bipartite graphs is important. To analyze them, we can compute different features such as average degree, diameter, maximum matching, and motif counting, such as butterflies. But what is a butterfly? In a bipartite network, a butterfly is a 2x2 two two biclique and is called a butterfly because of its resemblance to its namesake. If there are many butterflies in a graph, then the graph has a high clustering factor. Conversely, if we have a graph of few butterflies, it has a low clustering factor. Let's say we have a highly clustered bipartite network. If my grandmother and my friend both purchased the same pair of shoes, and my grandmother also purchased a dress, that dress can be advertised to my friend. To count the number of butterflies, we devised an exact algorithm. Given a bipartite network, we go through and count the exact number of butterflies in our network. However, bipartite networks can be very large. There can be millions of vertices and hundreds of millions of edges, resulting in trillions of butterflies, which can take a great deal of time to process. To improve the performance of butterfly counting, we propose a suite of randomized algorithms. One randomized algorithm samples a substructure such as a vertex, edge, or wedge. Then, from that substructure, we can estimate the number of butterflies. Another method is to sparsify our bipartite network. First, we find the number of butterflies in the sampled graph, then scale up and estimate the number of butterflies in the original. Both of these methods are much faster than the exact algorithm. In some cases, there is a 2,000 times speed up over the exact algorithm, and the estimations obtained from our randomized algorithms are highly accurate. Sampling and sparsification only require 5 seconds on very large graphs but produce estimations with 99% accuracy. Because we don't need to have the whole graph, we can send a query for an edge to a remote database and then estimate the number of butterflies with our randomized algorithms based on the response. Our randomized algorithms are great. They are fast, boasting a speed-up factor of 2000 compared to the exact algorithm in some cases. Highly precise, achieving 99% accuracy, memory efficient, and easy to implement.